Squad E assembles. Ah, uh, still messing around with that book, huh? your plan for after the war? Break into writing? Better buy me a drink with that sweet bestseller cash. It's nothing that exciting. Just keeping a little journal. We're on the front lines of a goddamn war, and you're writing gossip in a diary? I think it's good to keep a record of things, that's all. <laughs> Plus, it helps me organize my thoughts. I guess it's a habit I picked up from, you know, him. You know, if you're that interested, we could buy a diary for you. Like hell. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess you wouldn't have much reason to. Well, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Well, like I'm some goddamn illiterate? Just, I'm not sure your thoughts are deep enough that there'd be any point in organizing them. Oh, you son of a... I don't have to take this from your nerd ass. Miles, is that how they usually act around each other? Don't worry, they're just messing around. I don't think there's any actual events. Oh, but I guess I don't have to tell you that. You've known them much longer than I have. Must be nice, ending up in the same squad as some old best friends from your hometown. Best friends? What, Raz and Claw? Uh, yes. I mean, we played together when we were kids, but Raz started running with the wrong crowd, and then... Uh, anyway... I don't know that I'd call them friends. More like a bully and his mark. I never would have figured they'd end up all buddy-buddy. Let alone Raz taking orders from Claude of all people. Oh. That actually explains a lot. Well... It lines up with other things I've heard. But they say the toughest bonds are the ones forged in fire, huh? If things did change between them, it was probably thanks to an incident back in training. What happened? Let's see. Gosh, I think it was about a year ago now. It was May of 1934. Finally, that damn drill sergeant is gone. I swear, if I see that bastard in the field, I'm gunning his ass down. Save that rage for the Empire, Raz. Kai! It's not just training anymore. From now on, we're going to be fighting real Imperials. <laughs> Maybe. But that guy's earned a place on my shit list for life. There was one button undone! I didn't expect him to deck me and send me on a 40k run! There was a lesson in that. On the battlefield, the slightest mistake could cost you your life. Yeah, but 
Remember when he found my contraband? Oh, that beautiful pinup by your bunk? I understand confiscating it, but I wasn't expecting him to return it... Uh... Ah, oh, did Zaga's wifey cheat on him with an officer? Talk about an honorable discharge! Bastard! Oh, Betty, my angel, what did he do to you? <laughs> Sorry, Zyga, but I guess love hurts. <laughs> guess you've earned the right to hold a lip grudge. We'll just have to wait and see who's next on your... <laughs> I mean, who's gonna be our new commander. Who knows? If it's some stuck-up bastard, we'll just kick him out. Simple as that. Rats, we aren't just recruits anymore. Our superior gives the orders and we follow them. Sure, but Raz the Invincible doesn't play by the rules. Not even his own rules. Why should I listen to some old geezer from the last war? Or a smug prick who got in on their family name? No. How about you become the squad leader, Kai? That would be ridiculous. I don't have any remarkable heritage nor experience. I'm just a thug from the slums, same as you. trust someone like me to lead them into battle. Oh, come on! You're smarter than any of us here. You're a crack shot. You got nerves of steel. Even the old sergeant never tried smacking you around. He never had an excuse. He respected you. No, I bet he was scared of you. Seriously, man, I can't think of anyone who'd make a better leader. Well... I heard our incoming commander graduated as valedictorian of his class at the military academy. Valedictorian? He must really be the best of the best. That's a real feat! Ah, oh, great. Some rich scumbag with a stick up his ass. Just what I need. Well, looks like he's here. Tension! Can't wait. I'd like to introduce you to the commander of Squad E. Meet your new leader, Second Lieutenant Claude Wallace. Claude? Wallace? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Never imagined we'd run into each other out here. Uh, hello. It's, uh, nice to see you again, Kai. Raz? Scaredy Claude? You're supposed to be our leader? Like hell I'm ever taking orders from you! Soldier! You are speaking to your superior officer! <laughs> He's a goddamn coward is what he is. And I'll say it as many times as I want. Raz. Enough. Enough for you? I'm never gonna respect this son of a... Rats! That's it! You're dismissed from today's training! Get running! I want 100 kilometers! 
Sure, whatever you want. Sign me up, long as I don't have to listen to him. One hell of a first day on the job, right? I guess you've got your work cut out for you. saw you was when we were paired up for tank training. Uh, I'm surprised you remember me. I wasn't even from the military academy. I was just your average driver fresh out of basic. And I heard you graduated as valedictorian, right? That's incredible. Only thanks to you, we wouldn't have aced the tank course without your help. Really, you're giving me too much credit. But I'll do my best not to break our streak. You want me to take orders from him? Calm down, Rats. We're in the army now. Rank is everything. You know that already. You want ranks? Sure, I'm sergeant and he's second lieutenant. But he's still a worse shot than me, and his CQC's a joke. I'm sure I told you. Claude graduated as valedictorian of his class in the military academy. He's not the same Claude we knew. Yeah? So tell me what's changed. Valedictorian? Don't give me that shit. Hey, Claude. Claude! Look me in the eye, you bastard. <clears throat> you hear me? I didn't drag my ass through all that training just to have you be the one yanking on my chain. I'll fight the imps and put my life on the line to do it. But I am not letting Scaredy Claude get me killed. <clears throat> Pathetic. If you can't even talk back, then you really are a coward. What's his problem? How can he talk to you like that? Aren't you going to say anything? Put him in his place! You were peerless in the tank training, and you were a better shot than anyone on the artillery. Claude, I... No, everyone who saw you in training looked up to you. There's no way anyone could call you a coward. I hope you don't hold it against him. Raz is more sensitive than he lets on, and he's not sure how to deal with this. Kai! Miles. Raz, Claude, and I, we all grew up together in the town of Hoffman. We were all pretty young when we first became friends. Too young to know about things like social standing. The reality was that Raz and I were kids from the slums, and Claude was upper class. He didn't know our struggles. We got older and learned more about how the world works. And the more Raz understood, the more it hurt him. <sighs> Claude, I'm sure on some level Raz is happy to see you again. But when he gets emotional, he just refuses to listen. You know how he is. I can try to convince him, but... It's fine, Kai. I understand. I don't think I can reach him through words alone. I'm the commander of this squad now. This is my problem. Try to think of a solution. Claude. Mm. You're right. Probably for the best.
Right. I hear that training stretches you to your limits, mentally and physically. What? Well, is it too late to back out of this? Sign me up! I've always been interested in the Ranger Corps. Hey, whatever pays the bills, I'll do it. I, uh... I'm not sure. The whole squad will be taking the course. We're all gonna pass it. Not a single failure. What the hell? Claude, you realize what you're saying? Yes, and I don't make promises I can't keep. Ha! Get real! Me- No, we're all gonna beat this. I've read your files. You've all got your quirks, sure, but I see it more like each of you has hidden potential. And I know you all enlisted for your own reasons. Good reasons. The reason I joined the military was to protect Galia from the Empire. It's my homeland, and I'll fight for it. And all of you stand here today because you have something you want to accomplish or protect. But right now, we're just a handful of soldiers among tens, hundreds of thousands. We're pawns on a board. I don't intend on staying a pawn. I want to bring the Empire down with my own hands, by my own will. If I want to do that, however, I need results. I need to earn trust. I need to stand on the front lines and change battles with my own decisions and tactics. And if we can make it into the elite ranks of the Rangers, I can make that a reality. What a load of bullshit. So, Claude, this is your solution? I have to say, Raz, I'm surprised at your cowardice. What did you just say? True, the ratios of physical and mental capability in this squad may be a bit uneven. But that's something that could be covered between the two of us. Isn't that right? <sighs> or, do you think you can't complete the Ranger curriculum having to carry around the weight of our comrades? Of uh, course not! I'd finish this thing even if I have to carry the others on my back! Then it's settled. <laughs> Sounds like you're all set, Second Lieutenant Wallace. Now, according to our deal, time for your mock combat mission. A mock battle? They want to test the squad's abilities. They need to know if we're ready to take on the Ranger course. Huh! Hope they're ready to see what Gallians are made of. Fine by me, but who's playing our enemy in this trial? The Ranger Corps elites. Well, that ought to be... Wait, what the hell? How are we supposed to beat them? The Ranger course is no playground. We're making quite an exception to let your whole squad attempt this. We'll see if your results can justify it. Looks like our first combat op will be a trial by fire. Well, Claude, time to do the impossible, right? Right. We're not going to lose this. Let's go over the details of the mock battle.
stay calm. Let's go. Here I go. I know you can do this, Claude. Good luck. There's no turning back. Let's go, everyone. Show them what we've got. Your first objective will be to capture this point. Exceed the time limit, and you'll be disqualified. Your mission starts now! Give it all you've got, soldiers! Look at all of them. Elites everywhere. We're screwed if we take them head on. What? Rass, where are you going? Shut it. I don't take orders from you. I'll handle this my own way. See ya! Fine. I don't need your help. I'll finish this without you. Mm -hmm. Here comes the pain! attack. I suggest you take the Ranger Corps seriously. Gotcha! All right. Understood. Finish this. Recovery. Moving out. What's that shock trooper doing? Enemy base taken. Not just all talk. Well done. For your next mission, your objective is here. Capture it within the time limit. What? Your defenses are even tougher than before. How do they expect us to break through this? Wait. They don't. This whole test was a farce. They never intended to let us pass in the first place. Keep it together, Claude. Everyone's eyes are on you. Oh, sorry, Kai. Sorry, everyone. 
got too caught up in my own head and... No, you're right. Times like these are exactly when I need to stay calm. It's fine, as long as you understand. Now, take a breath, calm down, and look around. Anything stand out to you? Around us? That's it! The terrain! We can use it to our advantage! Ha! Huh, you seeing this? Who's supposed to be the leader here? Hmm. For one of the Academy's Blue Bloods, he's pretty flexible. There's something cute about that. He's a little uptight, but I can see a fire in his eyes. The man's got guts. <sighs> Understood. Target down. Enemy sighted. No need to hold back. 
Hit him with your best shot. We will continue. Check this out. Yes! Where'd you go? you get this far. Very well. The next objective will be the last. These defenses are stronger than any previous objective. Now, Squad E, let's see how you handle it. Raz is all alone over there. <sighs> What's the matter? Something on your mind? It's Raz's position. I don't know if he planned it, but... He's in the ideal place to strike. If we coordinate with him over there, it doesn't matter how good the opponent is. We can still win this. Rip. And how do you plan to do that? He's not inclined to listen, unless you're going to grovel right here and now. <sighs> you know exactly what's going through his head right now, don't you? He hasn't changed a bit. 
Raz is still a sore loser. He never thinks ahead and charges blindly into danger. But he's still strong, loyal, and reliable. Well, sounds like you already know what you need to do. I'll leave the rest to you. Damn it. I'm a sitting duck out here. No way I'm gonna break through just charging in like an idiot. If I could just get some covering fire, this would be a cakewalk. Raz! God, what the... Don't just yell like that out of nowhere, you dumbass. If we want to break through this, it'll take an assault from your position. If our squad's going to win, we need you. What? You can do whatever you like later. Hit me, yell at me, whatever helps. So please. All right, everyone. Once Raz begins his charge, we cover him with all the firepower we've got. Raz can shut down the snipers and machine guns and keep us all safe. Let's move out. What the? Hey, wait a goddamn minute. I never said I'd... Ugh, damn it, fine. I'm on it. Got this. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Easy. this Got this. Wide open. You think you can beat me? Check this out.
Commencing attack. Gotcha! Come on, let's play! I can do this! That's it! The test is finished! Squad E, you've gone above and beyond. It's a unanimous decision. All of you are cleared for the Ranger course. I wish you the best of luck. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> we really did it! I knew we'd pull through! Well, you two are gonna be a handful. You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. We wrecked him, Kai! You saw, right? I took him all down. I saw. I think it was teamwork that won us this one. Oh, come on! Give the guy some credit here! No, Kai. He's right. We couldn't have won without you, Raz. I didn't realize until I saw you in action. All I had were my armchair theories. You may have been a loose cannon, but that's exactly what we needed. Well, I mean, you, you know, it sounds like you're finally paying attention, so... And, I mean, your theories and tactical crap worked out pretty okay for us in the end. Oh. Thank you. Hey, look, don't go thinking you're hot shit now, all right? You're still not ready to be commander, got that? So, when you can't do it alone, just ask me, or Kai, or any of the others, and we can help. We're all badasses here, right? Right, the, the baddest of asses, everyone. <laughs> God, you're still such a nerd. Uh, sorry. You did good, Raz. What? Damn it, Kai! Get your hand off my head! <laughs> Would you stop treating me like I'm some kid? I need a smoke. to be a little more honest with himself. Claude, there is something I'd like to give you. What's this? A little record I've been keeping of this squad. From now on, it'll be yours to maintain. It's a diary, more or less, with logistical information. It might come in handy for making quick, precise decisions. A leader's got to keep a level head, right? Kai... The squad's in your hands now. 
<laughs> and after that, we all entered the ranger course. And true to his word, none of us failed. No one had seen anything like us. We were soon assigned to the ranger corps. That was where it all started, for Claude and for all of us. Where we became the elite, where we became rangers. That was where we became Squad E. But that was where our real test started. Survival training was definitely the worst part. I remember Raz yelling, Someone shoot me now, because I'd rather die than eat a damn frog! Ugh, raw frogs. Just when I thought I'd forgotten the taste. <sighs> In any case, all the training they threw at us, we beat it together. And that's the story of how Squad E came to be. You all went through a lot before I got here, huh? I guess they both changed. And I... Hey, tell me something. How'd you end up in the military anyway? I still can't believe Scaredy Claude is my commanding officer now. And undefeated, too. Well, I can't blame you. No, seriously. Why are you here, man? It's not because of all that stuff back then, right? When Riley's folks... <laughs> uh, Should have figured. Guess that part of you never really changed, huh? Still kind of pisses me off. Sorry, Raz. <laughs> I don't know why you're apologizing. Hmm. <laughs> God, you're hopeless. Look at you, trying to clam up again. Come on, you even got me on your side. And I definitely wasn't what you'd call cooperative. You're doing fine. We're all a load of losers, misfits, and freaks. And even so, you keep us together. You think so? Ugh, still? What do I gotta say? Come on. Listen, you're no scaredy Claude anymore. This stuff with Riley's gonna be fine. Okay? Raz. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> Chapter 3 